Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you are not new, then welcome back girl. So today we have another Pinterest inspired outfits video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys five outfits. I'm going to recreate based on Pinterest outfits. So I hope you enjoy and let's just get into it. All right, so here is the first outfit. Um, I really love this outfit when I saw it um, um, while I was, you know, perusing Pinterest. And um, I knew I had similar pieces. And yeah, I love this outfit because I never would have thought to, you know, recreate this and put this, you know, put this together. So I loved the um, leopard print dress and the green trench coat. I so thought that was just a different combination with the boots. So um, here is my recreation of a look and very much similar to the inspo pick. Um, I'm just looking down here at my screen so I can talk about the outfit. Um, but yeah, this was a very different outfit for me. Like I said, I would have thought to pair up leopard print and green together or this like army green and I love this trench coat um so yeah for so as far as my outfit let me just you know share with you guys where the pieces are from so the trench coat that I have on that is very old I don't even remember where I got that from but it is old and kind of thin too so it's more like a lightweight kind of layer um but I love it like I said I don't know where I got it from I've had it for years and then um my dress that is recent i recently recently got that from zara um i will try to link it down below if it is still available um i'll try to link similar options in case you are in the market for something similar to what i have um, but this is just inspo just to kind of get you to you know use what you have in your closet to create these outfits so um but yeah so um but i will link similars in the description box so but yeah this dress is from zara and then i think her bag it looked like i can't tell if she even has a bag i can't tell like on the the right side there if that's a bag or not um but i just went with this uh beigey not beige but like camely color sand color bag that i got from asos you know suede is huge right now so that just kind of incorporates that trend so a lot of trendy pieces going on here but i like to incorporate trendy pieces because it just kind of makes you look more up to date and just kind of makes you look more you know and keeps you from looking dated um and then my boots um i had something similar to what she has on i think she has on some booties um but i went with these knee high boots that i got from i think just fab and they are also in this suede well, like a full suede actually um, material and yeah those are from just fab and i like the little gold detail at the toe part there so and then my sunglasses i forgot to talk about sunglasses those sunglasses kind of similar to hers um but just a little bit bigger as far as the shape and those are old from shein i believe and my necklace actually the necklace that i think most of these outfits i'm styling up this necklace is old um it's just a chunky gold necklace and it is from zara i believe so but yeah, I love this outfit. I thought it was really cute and chic and just a little bit trendy. Um, I feel like the trench coat is more so a classic piece um, as well as the boots. I feel like those boots are classic, you know, even though we know suede is trending right now. So um, but yeah, I absolutely love this outfit. It'll be a nice outfit to wear um, Thanksgiving. We know Thanksgiving is coming up this week, actually. So this will be a nice outfit if you want to dress up and, you know, look cute and chic. And yeah, as you're sitting around with your family and feasting, this is a cute outfit. So, and the colors, I just love the colors too. It's very fall and winter appropriate. So, but yeah, I love this outfit, love my recreation. You guys let me know which um, outfit, which one you like the best, if you like mine. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys, I also accessorize with a belt, um, like a little chain belt that is also old from Shein. I forgot about that belt. That's probably the most important part because I like to add a little extra details to these looks if you, are new here and just now stumbled upon my channel. I do a lot of these Pinterest inspired outfits and I like to put my own little twist on them. So for me, um, I just wanted to add a little bit of um, like cinching in at the waist cause this is a boxy dress. It just kind of goes up and down like that. So I just want to create a little bit of shape in my waist area. So I just added this um, like multi-chain um, chain belt that I got, like I said, old from Shein. So, but yeah. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think of my recreation of the look and we'll get into the next one. And here is the next look. And I've been eyeing this um, outfit on Pinterest for a while. It's been on my Pinterest feed for a minute. And I don't know why I haven't saved it or recreated this look. But I absolutely love it. It's just very chic. And just kind of like a little bit of like edginess to it as well. So love this outfit. So I had to recreate it. So here's my recreation of the look. So like I said, these outfits, I like to put my own little twist on it and do my own little spin on these looks. So starting from the top, I kept it the same as the inspo pick 
with a denim um, baseball cap that is old from Banco. And then her her sunglasses, they're like a rimless, rimless kind of sunglass. So I did the same thing. So these are old from Shein as well. And then um, we'll just start from the outlayer, out, out layer and then kind of work our way in. And so I loved her brown um, trench coat. I wish I had me a brown trench coat, but I only have like, and it's like a leather, like a brown leather trench coat. So I have three uh, leather trench coats. One is obviously in this color. And then I have another one in like a, burnt orange and then I have a black one so I didn't have a brown one so I just decided to go with this burgundy because I love burgundy and I've had this burgundy trench coat for years I got that from ASOS I want to say a few years ago and so yeah it kind of looks brown actually <laughs> in the video but it is burgundy like a dark burgundy um so yeah that's from ASOS and then I have on this blue vest because I couldn't tell in the inspo pick if that vest she has on or if that's even a vest I'm not sure um but it looked like navy blue so i went with this navy blue vest um that i got from the thrift store i think i styled this up in one of my last pinterest out this video so just goes to show that you know you need to wear your clothes girl and you can wear them multiple different ways so um so i'm styling it up again um so yeah so that vest is thrifted um and then i have on a layering piece like a very thin um layering piece in this uh leopard print um as you guys can tell i love leopard print <laughs> um so yeah it's very thin um so yeah that is from mango i think i got that this year um i think they have something similar on the website now but it is very it is super thin super super thin um so it's perfect for layering just to add a little you know extra layer and then what I did, just because I just wanted that leopard print to really show and really pop, I just kind of rolled the sleeves up a little bit. Obviously, if it's like super cold, you're probably not going to be able to do that. I mean, obviously, if you're inside, you can do it just for more styling purposes, really, just to add a little extra detail is why I really did that. Um, yeah, so, but if I'm outside, like, it's cold. Like, it's proper cold now here in the South, so um, I get to pull out my jackets and my coats. Um, but yeah, when I'm outside, I'm going to have to roll those sleeves down, girl, because I'm going to be cold. But when you're inside and you just want to look a little stylish, you can just roll up a sleeve and just let that little pop of leopard print show. So I just think that's a cute little styling detail, a little styling hack. And then my jeans, those are from, I think those are from Abercrombie. Um, just like a wide leg jean and then on my handbag I wanted I didn't know what handbag because I'm working with a lot of colors here so I just went with this um, like sandy kind of beige um, quilted handbag that I got from Aritzia because it goes it ties in with my shoes um, and speaking of shoes these boots they are actually suede I think these are a real suede boot and uh, these I got from Zara several years maybe last year maybe um but i love them there's just like a buttery saw suede um but they're from sara and i just love like the tucking in um how she tucked in the jeans into her boots i've been seeing a lot of outfits like that i don't think i don't know if i really pay attention to that but i really like um that style detail where you just kind of tuck your jeans and just not even like tuck them in all the way i like that look when they're not really tucked in all the way there's kind of some of it just kind of spilling over i just like that little style hack so that's kind of like what i did with this outfit as well so i don't know i just like it i just think it's just something different something unexpected and yeah it's just like when you have wide leg jeans it's hard to tuck them because they're so thick and just so big and bulky um but this is kind of how you can do it just kind of like let some of it kind of spill out i just like that undone just not, not so perfect you know kind of look so but yeah i absolutely love this outfit um just chic again this is another outfit you can wear to you know thank for thanksgiving coming up um something you know similar to this um yeah and you'll look chic like i said as you're feasting with your family so but i love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of the look and we'll get into the next one all right and here's the next look and um, when i saw it i knew i had to recreate it um i just love like this burgundy i don't even know if her coat is burgundy um but it looks like a burgundy red kind of um like yeah like a burgundy kind of more so on the red side of burgundy if, if you will like a burnt brick yeah like a brick kind of color so anyway so i love this outfit just thought it looks so chic um like i said i love the pairing of like this dark dark brick red burgundy maroon whatever you want to call it i uh, paired up with this all brown outfit i just thought that looked so chic and just so appropriate for the fall and winter season so um and then here's my recreation of look it's a little bit different as far as the coloring but i think it still works um so starting from the top i just popped on my ray-ban sunglasses um and then i have on this burgundy 
um, bomber jacket that I got from H&M in the men's section last year. So um, it's definitely different. Mine, mine is more so like a, mine is actually a more so like a true burgundy or like a maroon. And hers is, like I said, it's like a reddish kind of brick red. So, um, but same, same concept, you know, it doesn't have to be similar or it doesn't have to be the same. Um, but I just love the, the pairing of, like I said, the brown with the burgundy. So, um, and then my, my um, sweater or that uh, cardigan that is from Zara. I just recently got that and showed that in a recent Zara haul. Um, and I love like the button details here on the uh, cardigan. I think hers is more like a button up shirt. I can't really see. Um, but it looks like hers is more of like a button up shirt. So mine is more like a cardigan, but still kind of still works. Um, but yeah, that is from Zara. And then my pants, um, my trousers, those are definitely a different color from my cardigan, but it's still in the brown family. So it still works because you still have that monochromatic look going on with the browns. Um, and then her handbag, it looks like she has like one of those like handbags that has uh, like a gold chain on it. So I had something similar to that in this brown um, that I got from Zara a few years ago. So I just thought again, let me tie in some more of the brown. Um, and then as far as on my feet, I have all my Prada loafers and they're more of like a burgundy brownish kind of color. Hers are match her hers and the inspo pick. Her shoes match her jacket. And I think those are Tory Burch. Um, those are new, I think. So um, I will link them down below too if you're interested. I'm thinking I'm thinking about buying those. I'm like, I don't need any more loafers, but um, I really like the color of those, particularly ones that she has on. So but yeah, that's my recreation of the look. Like I said, it's a little bit different as far as the coloring, but it still works and it kind of gave me an idea because I never would have thought to put these pieces together. Although I kind of wanted to, I wanted to do like a brown monochromatic look and I actually forgot that I had I had like two different pair of brown trousers in my closet I had some that are actually a little bit lighter than this they're more of like a taupey brown and these are definitely like a light brown so I need some I need some different brown trousers so I'm gonna look out for some like a darker brown trouser um, I do have like a dark brown uh skirt that I probably could have worn with this and it look better but i just wanted to do the trousers so um but yeah absolutely love this look again this is a nice chic look that you can again wear for thanksgiving i'm, I'm guessing i'm i guess i'm giving you guys thanksgiving outfit ideas since thanksgiving is coming up this week so um but yeah this is the perfect outfit to wear you know lounging around and you want to look again want to look chic want to look put together and yeah i just think this is the perfect color combination burgundy and brown so love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of the look and we'll get to the next one all right and here's the next look and this is more of like a sporty chic kind of look y'all know i love track pants so i just had to reverse it do a little reverse reverse and do a track like a track top with um something more um you know a little bit dressy at the bottom so um but yeah i love the inspo pick i just thought it was so cute and um i love her um track top her track um what is that a track jacket <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that from Adidas. Um, Adidas is like one of my favorite brands right now. So, um, but I love how she had it styled up in sort of like a chic way. I don't know if those are trousers or if those are jeans that she has on. I can't tell, but nonetheless, I still loved it. It's just a simple look. Like I feel like anybody can recreate this. Um, if you have like a track, uh, track, uh, jacket or something like that or even like a hoodie if you have like a hoodie like a sporty hoodie or something i think this will be cute um to wear with like some trouser pants um so yeah i love this outfit um so here's my recreation of the look i had a red i just recently got this red um track type of top from mango um it is still available i think in limited sizes but it is still available so again like i said I will link it down below. Um, but yeah, it is from Mango. Um, and then my sunglasses, those are, I just wanted to do like some chic sunglasses. I think those are from, where are those from? I think those are from Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to see like, um, yeah, I think those are from Amazon. And then as far as my handbag, that handbag is also from Mango. I just got that, I think over the summertime in like three colors. So um, I, I don't think that that this particular one that I have is um, still available on the Mango website, but they do have something similar that they just um, have on the website now that I will link down below. Um, and then these pants, these these trouser pants, instead of like I said, going with some jeans, you know, just to make the outfit a little bit more interesting, I went with these trouser pants that are from ASOS. They are so super comfortable. This is like this is really the perfect outfit to wear for Thanksgiving Day because those pants they're elasticated like the waistband, or they have like a elasticated waistband. And so perfect for when you're eating and you know you get that food belly and you know they're not going to be it's not going to constrict your belly girl so um, definitely love these track pants are 
I definitely love these um, trouser pants from ASOS. And then it looked like she has on like some chunky boots. I can't really tell. Um, so I just went with my little chunky boots that I got from, I think, I think I got those from ASOS. I can't remember if I had those for a couple of years now, um, but they are a Bottega dupe. And so absolutely love them. I just thought they would look cute with this outfit. So, um, but yeah, this is a, a good, like I said, good sporty chic outfit to wear, uh, for Thanksgiving day. Cause it's just super comfortable. And you know, if you're a person that doesn't like to really dress up, but you just kind of want to look a little dressy, cause this is kind of like a little dressy. It's not doing as much as the other outfits were this is more of like a sporty like i said chic kind of outfit so um absolutely love it i actually wore this outfit recently uh, or yesterday because i filmed this video on a saturday and um, i actually wore this outfit um after i got finished filming and wore it to go see the movie wicked um which is really good by the way if you guys want to check that movie out um i think it just came out recently so yeah me and my daughter went to go see wicked and i wore this outfit um i actually kind of dressed it up another way so let me show you guys the actual outfit that i wore to go see the movie so yeah so this is actually how, what i wore to go see the movie so i kind of changed it up a little bit um because it was cold that night or last night and so i decided to um you know layered up a little bit more because the jacket itself the red jacket or that red um like track jacket is a little thin so i needed something a little bit thicker so i just popped on on top of the jacket this little um fur fur faux fur coat i can never say that right faux fur coat i can't remember where i got that from i got it last year i think or maybe it, it might have been the beginning of the year because i went uh fur coat crazy <laughs> and so um, i love the color of this one um this is probably one of my favorite ones that i have in my collection so i wore that and then i just popped on a hat just because I don't know i just wanted something you know extra detail so i popped on again another leopard print i know this out this video is full of leopard print but i love leopard print so this hat is from ghani and then um i popped on instead of those boots i decided to go with my little us because it was kind of kept my my feet nice and toasty because i don't know what it is when i sit in a the theater my feet get cold so this kept my feet nice and toasty because it gets cold in the theater y'all so um but yeah so i had put put on my um ug um i think these are the, the tasman slippers i think is what these are i typically wear these like walking around the house they, i use them as like my little house shoes but um i do wear them out too um so yeah so that's what i wore um to the movie so i just kind of added some more little detail to the outfit so just to show you that just to show you that i do wear these outfits out so i wore this outfit the day that i filmed the uh film this video so um yeah so just to show you that i do wear these outfits and that you can again add on you know you can build on and add your own little thing and yeah the, the pinterest inspired outfits just again it's inspiration just to give you inspiration to kind of to what to work with and then you can kind of change it up and do your own thing to fit your style so um but yeah i love this outfit you guys let me know what you think i actually did two outfits for this one so which one of the outfits did you guys like the most um yeah so yeah we will get into the final look all right and here is the final look and this is outfit because i had four outfits already saved but i was just kind of trying to find the fifth one that i wanted to do and then um right right and you know right on time this one kind of popped up on my uh, pinterest feed so um and i just thought it was so chic and just kind of like kind of like a baddie look if you will i don't wouldn't consider myself a baddie but um yeah i just thought it was so cute and um yeah i just thought it was like kind of like tough and kind of like that very much so street style look which i'm not really much of a street style person but i love this outfit so um and i knew i had similar pieces so um but yeah i love this outfit so this is my recreation of the look so um i went with these huge sunglasses because we in the inspo pick her sunglasses are very big so these are the only ones i have in my wardrobe that are like huge and have this big frame and every time I wear these, I always get compliments on these sunglasses and they are super cheap. I think I got them from Shein. I don't know, but I've had them for years. So, um, and then I went with that same, um, fur coat that I had on with the previous outfit. I just wore that as well. Um, so yeah. And then, um, underneath the fur coat, I put on a, um, cardigan that I got from Amazon. I think it's from, I think it's from Amazon. Um, cause she has on, as you can see, like a fitted t-shirt. So I wanted something a little bit warmer. Um, cause again, like I said, if you know i try to customize these outfits uh for me and i probably wouldn't i wouldn't probably do like a fitted t-shirt <laughs> a black t-shirt or anything even though i would do a t-shirt but right now i feel like i feel like it's a, it's very much so sporty and so i just wanted to add a little bit of touch of femininity because it is a cardigan and like a 
it's actually similar to what I have on here. So actually, I think it's the same cardigan that I have on, just in different color. It's, that one's all black, and this one is um, this blue and black. So yeah, these these are from Amazon. Um, and then she had on this huge chunky um, belt, like braided belt. And I wasn't gonna do a belt, but then I was going looking through my belts, and I saw this belt um, right right towards the end as I was putting everything on. I was like, oh, that would look cute. So this belt, I think that is from Zara. It's more so of a summery belt, but I just thought it looked good with this outfit. Um, and then as far as my my trousers or my jeans, or they're not jeans, they're really trousers. Hers are cargo pants. Um, I didn't have any cargo pants that look like that, but I just went with these that I got from Zara. I don't remember, girl. <laughs> they're not recent, uh, or they're not a recent purchase. So, um, but I'm making sure my little mic there is not messing, messing with my, my uh, necklace there. Um, but anyway, so yeah, those uh, trousers are from Zara. And then I didn't see, this one like she has a bag on, but I just decided to go with my little um, Gucci bag that I got secondhand, I think from Bestiaire Collective. So just to kind of, I don't know, like I said, bring a little bit of chicness to the look. And then I did that same little style hack where you tuck your pants into your boots. Um, so I did that same thing with my boots and my boots were really similar to hers. Um, those are from, I don't know where those are from. I've had those for years as well. They're like a kind of like a Western boot. Um, that was probably one of my favorite boots that I have in my wardrobe um, that are the ones that I've had the longest actually so um, but yeah I just thought this was just a really cute look like I said it's very much so street style but I wanted to I wanted to recreate it because I knew I had pieces similar to it and I actually had to go and dig my basement for this coat because all my coats are still in storage so now I finally get to bring out all my coats so like I said it's gotten cold here in the south so um, yeah I just was so happy to be able to wear this uh, for coat because like I said I wore it to go to the movie so excited to wear my fur so um but yeah you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of this look and yeah that's it all right thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and got some inspiration like I said all these outfits you can wear um for Thanksgiving I know Thanksgiving is coming up so I guess I'm kind of giving you guys some Thanksgiving outfit ideas inspired by Pinterest looks so um like I said I hope you got tons of inspo and yeah let me know which outfit was your favorite, which, which recreation was your favorite. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. All right, bye guys.